Okay, the top hunter tier is about arrows and ammunition. This is something we've kind of flirted with a few times and we think this is a great place to deliver it. You can have three different types of ammunition just by choosing the talent. Um, the frozen arrows do the kind of thing that Frost usually does in our game. Uh, the arcane arrows restore focus and then the venom tipped arrows put a dot on. So again, hopefully it depends. It might depend a little bit on the situation you're in. Um, if you're in PvP, maybe the arcane hours look like a good choice, but gosh, having the ability to freeze or having that dot could be really attractive too. Level 30 is a, a crowd control tier. Um, silencing shot, wyvern sting, pretty much the, uh, the abilities we have today. Intimidation is now here, and we went ahead and changed um, Beastmaster's level 10 ability to kill command, which has always kind of made sense. Level 45, it's all about how you want to use disengage. So every hunter will have something cool that happens when they disengage, and they choose it here. You can buff your movement speed, you can buff your um, kind of avoidance, or you can heal yourself after a disengage. Hunters have often asked for a self-heal, and here you can get a good one. Here's one about survivability being slippery or perhaps being a little bit tanky. Uh, Crouching Tiger, the existing talent that can improve your disengage and deterrence. Aspect of the Iron Hawk just reduces the damage you take outright. And then this is a more powerful version of the Spirit Bond that lets you and your pet heal as long as your pet's still alive. Okay, level 75 is about um, resources in three different ways. You have two clickies, Fervor, which gives, your, um, gives you focus to you and your pet, Readiness, which uh, finishes the cooldowns, your abilities, and then Thrill of the Hunt, which is just kind of a passive ab ability to get some focus back. So here's one of those opportunities. Some players really like having the active control. Some players would rather not have another button on their bar, and they're happy just to have it kind of happen over time, even if that means a little more RNG for them. So a great example of customization here. And then um, one thing we haven't seen a lot of yet in the Hunter Tree are traps. So level 90 is all about your traps. Um, flash freeze, no longer, your uh, freezing trap no longer has a cooldown. You can keep using it as much as you want. Black Ice is a really interesting one. It increases the movement reduction speed of Ice Trap, but then it also improves your movement speed as long as you're moving to the trap. So it's kind of the, the buff nerf there. And then Transmorph Trap, you put um, a toxin on this trap that actually turns the target into a beast. Um, so imagine they work a little like Hex, where they're you know, obviously not very powerful as long as they're a beast there. One other thing I wanted to mention about um, hunters, because I know the question will come up, is what happens to the pet talents? And the way we think we're going to handle that is we're going to let hunters choose any of the three specs for any pet. So you can have a ferocity, tenacity, or cunning pet. If you want to have a bear doing DPS, or you want to have a moth with you in the raid, you can do that and just choose you know, which one you want to, if you wanted to do the damage roll or the tanking roll. 